Twelve patients made medical history in California earlier this year with a six-way kidney swap. Last week, they came together for an emotional reunion, and Carter Evans was there. One by one, the six transplant recipients met the strangers who saved their lives. Thank you so much. And they all have Zuli Broussard to thank. When you started out on this road, you only planned to help one person. I did, and I was really excited about it. After both her husband and son died of cancer, Broussard wanted to give another family a second chance by donating a kidney. Her gift set off a medical chain reaction between donors who weren't a match for their loved one, but were for someone else's. Twelve surgeries, all at California Pacific Medical Center in just two days, with no margin for error, says Dr. Bill Bree. What really worries us is the unexpected. If one of the 12 patients uh, developed uh, cold, you know, the night before, then that could have thrown the whole thing off. Broussard's kidney went to Oswaldo Padilla, who she learned is the father of this five-year-old. He told me he has a little girl. And that's kind of when I broke. His little girl is going to grow up and her father's going to be there and he'll get to walk her down the aisle. How has your life changed? I got off dialysis, right? Um, I'm free. <laughs> now, when can I swing a golf club? Mark Kim got his new kidney from former Marine Liz Torres. I'm going to name my kidney Corporal. Liz was a <laughs> corporal in the Marines. <laughs> I've received a gift I can never repay, and I'm grateful. A computer program put the puzzle pieces together by analyzing thousands of genetic factors among patients. Silicon Valley veteran David Jacobs came up with the idea while he was waiting for a kidney transplant. I sat on dialysis and thought, well, this is a math problem, and Computers are pretty good at math. Nice to see you. How are you? But Dr. Stephen Katz Nelson points out that nationwide, there are still more than 100,000 people waiting on the transplant list. If more living donors come forward, we should be able to knock that list down in a matter of a few years. Good technology and good Samaritans are leading to bigger transplant chains and changing the waiting game. Carter Evans, CBS News, San Francisco.